Right, I've just realised I've got to do this really fast because I'm losing light. Um, I am bringing you this monthly beauty roundup from the Isle of Skye, which is uh, an island off the coast of Scotland. So quite far away from London, well very far away from London actually. And I've been here for a week on a nice little holiday, just trying to relax and do nothing, which is why there have been no videos. And um, I was going to do a video before I left to say that I was going on holiday but then I didn't have time and everything was quite hectic. So here I am um, getting you your monthly roundup on the very very last minute as usual and um, I've just been on a huge 10 mile hike up the side of a mountain and so I'm not looking my best I'm afraid but if I don't do this now it's going to get dark and then we won't have any monthly roundup at all. So here we go. First thing is this Burt's Bees uh, Sensitive Body Lotion, Aloe and Buttermilk for Sensitive Skin, which I think is amazing. As you can see, there's not very much left in it. Absorbs really nicely, but it's very, very kind of nourishing and moisturising. And um, it kind of feels a lot more expensive than it actually is. And I know this is a lot more inexpensive in the States, I think, than it is in the UK. But it's still not a bad price in the UK, I think it's about £10, but I really, really like that one. And it's very natural ingredients, and the moisturising effects last for a very long time. So, I like that one a lot. What else have we got body-wise? Oh, I'm coming to the end of this Biotherm Anti-Cellulite Cream. And this is Cellulite Laser Intensive Night. This is obviously one that you use at night. And, um... Sorry, I'm just having a look at what's going on with these sheep out here. Something very bizarre. Um, yeah, sorry. Sheep dramas. There's a lamb out there that just, it looks like it's... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'll show you after I've done this. <laughs> right. So yeah, this is an anti-cellulite cream, um, well, gel, that... Um, it's supposed to help refine skin contour appearance while you sleep um, and I've been testing it out for a couple of months I really like it I haven't been using any other cellulite cream and I don't know it just I think it's made the skin look a little bit tighter and more toned so quite like that one but I'll give you a good proper verdict when I've properly finished it off this is Margaret Dabbs intensive treatment foot oil which is just a very nice light dry oil but very moisturising um, doesn't leave your feet greasy or anything like that not quite as nice to kind of massage in as a cream would be a thick cream but um, does the job just as well and means you can put your socks straight on and go out and do whatever so that's quite good I'm still doing my Strivectin test um, but I've changed from the big tube of cream that they gave me to the eye cream because they were slightly concerned that I was using um, the full-on, you know, full wax Strivectin around the eye area when they've actually got a specific eye cream. So I'm now testing out the eye cream, which I also like very much. But again, that's a separate video. Ow. Nukes Lip Balm, which is an amazing kind of... I don't know, it feels quite dry to the touch really, it's not greasy. And smells amazing, it's really really orangey and the effects of it last for absolutely ages. I've been using this every day for about a month and it's hardly made a dent in the top of there. Just show you a bit closer. So that's pretty good. Another thing that's very orangey is this John Masters Organics Blood Orange Body Wash. Blood Orange and Vanilla Body Wash, um, which just smells gorgeous and it's organic so I should be buying a full size bottle of that because I really really like it. This has been really good while I've been away this is Laboratoire Remed and it's a translucent UV coat and basically what it is is I'll just shake it a lot but um, it's an SPF 30 but it's also got a tiny bit of tint in so it's a bit like a tinted moisturiser uh, where can I show you here but it's oil free Hold on, put a bit more on. And um, it's not thick or greasy. And it gives you full protection. 
without making your skin kind of clogged up or anything like that. And also, if you want some protection and you want a little bit of tint to your makeup, then, you know, this one stops you having to put on about 5,000 different layers, so that's really good. These are Aromatherapy Associates Heavenly Oils, um, which are their Christmas ones, actually. They're just tiny miniatures of their usual bath oils. And they do one called Perfect Partners, and it's a, a nighttime one to help you sleep and relax and then a daytime one that's really invigorating and revitalizing and so this was just their kind of special Christmas edition of the perfect partners but you can just buy perfect partners and they're really really good for traveling because you just get a tiny bit in each one so I'm saving these bottles because obviously I'll be refilling them from the real thing so they come in a really nice little packet as well which I think is really good for presents kind of little birthday presents that aren't too expensive. Oh, um, a Rimmel Lash Accelerator, which is like a lash growth serum and a mascara in one. I've got a little bit on. I don't know whether it's still on there after my walk. Um, but it's just a really, really nice, easy to apply mascara. And um, I'm pretty sure, I've been using this for over a month, pretty sure I'm seeing a slight difference in my lashes. I know that these are supposed to take absolutely ages to work, um, but I'm sure I've seen, if it's not actually an increase in the lash volume and length, I think it's just because maybe not so many lashes are falling out. I'm not precisely sure, but um, again, I'll do another review on this when I've got my thoughts straight about it. But for now, I just think it's a really good, you know, compared to the price of loads of the other similar products. I think this comes in at eight or nine pounds, which I think is really good value actually. I um, bought this with me, it's the Tisseran Anti-Blemish Stick and this is kind of a tea tree, organic tea tree solution. And it's just, you can put it on spots or you could put it on bites, and, you know, cuts and things like that. And it's just a really nice natural antiseptic. So I bought that with me because I'm kind of walking through Brecon and things like that, so I thought I was bound to get stung by something, but actually I've been very lucky. Bobbi Brown have relaunched their creamy concealer. I'm not sure what's different about it actually. What is this one? Cool Sand. So in this you get Cool Sand Creamy Concealer and you get a pale yellow sheer finish pressed powder. And that's what I really like about this concealer actually, is that you get two textures a really easy to apply cream concealer and then just to make sure it doesn't slide around you get the finishing powder which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to put on with your finger but I find that works quite okay just patting it on like that and there you have kind of flawless <coughs> under eye and it's been designed for the under eye actually not for all over but um, quite a handy little duo that <sighs> two more things three more things um, first of all Becca's summer collection I'm just going to show you quickly this palette because I think it's really nice it's got three gorgeous eyeshadow colours um, a kind of lip tint and a cheek and lip cream I think that these shades are really nice and kind of summery sparkly. I'm just going to pop a bit on my eyelids so you can see. This one here is a really nice kind of apricotty gold. I don't know if you can see that there. I'm just going to pop the lighter gold towards the corner of my eyes. It's not really gold actually, it's just a kind of neutral, nudey beige. I think just for a colour wash in the summer really lifts the eyelids and then you can use the darker one for contouring but actually it's not very dark at all. So it's really really easy to use. And then the lip gloss is just totally sheer. Obviously you could layer over a bit of the lip and cheek tint And that's really corally.
This also works really nice on the cheeks. I always think the tints work better on the cheeks than the lips, really. Oh, this lighting is really not very good now. This is the NARS Compact for Summer, and in it we have the Laguna Bronzer, the Orgasm Blush, and a highlighter. And I have been wearing this non-stop for weeks. I think it's absolutely brilliant, and I love this case, which is kind of like a... Um, almost like a laptop case. It's a very, very clever design. Slightly bigger than a normal compact would be, but um, it's really good for travelling because you can knock it around and it doesn't damage what's inside. It's got a really good mirror. And I'm going to come a bit closer just so you can see. I'm using, actually this is the last thing I was going to show you, um, a Japanese travel brush. This is a large kind of powder brush. I'm really liking this brush actually. But the um, Laguna Bronzer is just brilliant for sweeping over a bit of colour. And then you can pick out a little bit of the blush, if you so desire. And then a smaller brush would be better for this actually, but you can use a big brush. Just a bit of highlighter along the tops of the cheekbones. and underneath the eyebrow and you're done. That was the kind of weirdest beauty roundup that I've ever done and now I'm going to show you some sheep and I shall see you in the next video when normal service shall be resumed and we'll have good lighting and I won't be so, I don't know, relaxed and in holiday mode and not thinking about beauty whatsoever. See you next time!